Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb and I'm going to talk to you today about Shopify tags. So what are tags in general? Tags are a way for the business to organize or label information to easily find it. Um, that, that's, that's the simple concept of it. Now, because you're actually going to organize your information, so your orders, your products, customers, etc., you're going to organize in a certain way, you can easily work with that information. You can just organize it like a group or you can actually make the store function differently. So let's show you one example and then I'll, I'll talk to you about everything you can organize and just give you more and more examples. So let's say for example, as a business owner, you wanna identify, you wanna group together all of the orders that for example, were below a certain threshold. So let's say they're below $10. You wanna organize that and easily export that information or just look into it, etc. So what would you do? First of all, you would go to every single order one by one let's say for example this order and you would actually tag it okay so if you go down below right here there's a tagging okay so I would for example let's say this is an order of a hundred dollars and I want to make a group for any orders that are a hundred dollars so I can call it hundred orders I, I can just call it hundred orders and I'm gonna click here to add it okay and now I, I'm gonna save it okay so what I would basically do is go to all of my orders right here let's just say for example this one and I'm also going to tag it as 100. Now, if you've created the tag the first time and you start filling it in, you'll have an auto fill. So it's easy not to make typos to make different types of tags. You're just going to click on it, okay, and save. So what you're going to do is you're going to go one by one and tag all of your stuff, okay? So now let's go here. Now, uh, as far as the first type of functionality, what can you do with tags? You can easily organize and find that information. So if I go here and I type in 100, Okay, then I'm going to search for 100 in all of my tags. But what I prefer to do is go here and type in tag with. I'm going to type in 100 orders. Okay, I'm going to click on it. Okay, so now you see here that I have one order. Now, if you remember, I tagged two. And the reason I can only see one right now is there's a certain lag uh, in, in the tagging itself. So it usually takes about a minute or so, or maybe two minutes in some cases, to actually showcase. So if I go here, actually refresh and now you can see it here so now I've made a simple way to organize it now let's say if I'm searching and I want to easily find I can always click on more filters tag with but let's say I want to save it and it's something I want to revisit often because I've already searched for it I can actually click here save filter and I can call it uh, orders with hundred dollars okay and I can click on save when I did that now it's easily accessible next time via this section right this is the view all orders and this is view orders with 100. So anytime in the future I have more orders, it's just going to be easily accessible for me. So it's a way to organize. That's the first part. The second part is you can use this and actually do custom development. You can ask your developer to go and make some kind of logic to, for example, send a different email to customers where their orders are at least $100 or cancel certain orders or pause them for extra fraud review if they're very high value or any functionality you're trying to do. So there's a lot of ways you can organize things. Hope that makes sense. Uh, so let's talk about what, what can you actually organize and tag in the system, okay? So we can tag a few things. So number one, you can tag orders. Orders include both orders and drafts, okay? So that's number one. Number two is you can tag products. Okay, so product, let's say I go here, and it's all, always gonna look the same, right? You have tags right here, and I can organize product. For example, this would be all of my stickers, or this would be all of my you know, bestsellers, or et cetera. Okay, now uh, in addition on all pages and tags, you have the view all tags and you can actually see all the tags that the system has and the applied tags. So you can actually remove things, right? For example, I want to remove it and you can organize it in an easier way right here based on popularity or just by alphabetical order. Okay, so the second one is products. The third one you can organize is you can organize your transfers, right? So incoming stock, you can go and you can go to a specific transfer and go here, put some tags, etc. For example, urgent, right? It's a really good tag. And I click on save. And everything you organize, you know, orders, products, etc., you're always going to be able to search here. Right? I can go here, filter, and I can go tagged with, and I can click on, excuse me, urgent, right? Same thing. And you can see that, right? So here it is. Uh, the, so the third thing is transfers. 
Okay. The fourth thing is customers. Okay. This is a really valuable one, especially I find a lot of things. So you can tag your customers by the way they uh, experience with you customer service. Uh, if they're customers that have more, you know, zero orders, one order, multiple orders, if they're returning customers, you can tag them based on location, a lot of different things. So you want to really use this in many uh, good ways, right? So same thing, you're going to click, you're going to scroll down, tag them, for example, they're uh, you know, very good customer, right? They always, you know, they don't complain, they don't, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Now, obviously, for um, for tags, you can have more, more than one tag on an element, on an item. Okay. What else? So let's just, for example, maybe they're a VIP, right? So you can have multiple. Okay. What else can you do? So that's the fourth one, right? So we have orders, drafts, products, transfers, customers. And you can also do blog posts. So if you go here and you're creating a blog post and you create a blog post, for example, you can actually go ahead and tag them, okay? So tags will be able to help the customer, you know, click between one tag, see familiar uh, articles, okay? And the last thing you can do with tags are once you've actually tagged products, okay, so let's say this is a sticker and let's actually tag another sticker for a second. So I've tagged this as, let's just call it, this is, you know, let's just call it, this is a sticker. And I go here and I'm going to actually tag the other one as a sticker. Okay, so go back. I'm going to click here. Okay, and I'm going to save. Now the last one is you can create collections automatically based on tags, right? So I'm going to go here to collections and I'm going to create a new collection. Let's just call it my stickers. Okay. My stickers. And if I go here, I can click on autom automate automated, excuse me. And I can go here to tags. Let's go here. Excuse me. Product tag. And it would be sticker. Okay. And if I go here and I save it now, my, collection would have stickers. Okay, so let's go here, let's click on view. And you can notice that both of these are inside automatically. So uh, hope this makes sense. Um, this is the, the, you know, the very simple concept. So I'm just going to recap one more time. You can use tags to organize your information, mostly for the business. But also, if you have a developer, you can actually make the front end look differently. So for example, I can make certain products on the product page if they have the, a certain tag called sticker. The product page could look different from products that don't have a tag sticker. This is, a, of course, custom development. But the one I showed a lot in this video is to help organize for you to organize these things, find information, organize your information easily for access. Hope this makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer more detailed questions in the comments. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. I uh, really appreciate it.